My name is Audrey Ragsack, and I'm 17 years old and a senior at Andrew P. Hill High School. Um, why are we growing lettuce in Arizona and developing over prime farmland? On average, it takes over 1,500 miles to get from grower to supermarket. Here in San Jose, we have some great farmland that can be used to supply our city with food, but there are plans to develop over this farmland. So my question is, what will you do to protect our nation's food supply and small local growers near metropolitan areas? America's eating habits are changing, which is a good thing. Uh, they're more interested in eating vegetables. They're more in interested in eating uh, non-processed non foods. That gives an opportunity to rural America to build an, an entirely new uh, source of revenue. But organic farmers, farmers of produce, they've got to get some encouragement. And right now, all the subsidies are going into the big commodity crops and often to big agribusiness. And that's why I've said I want to cap the subsidies at $250,000 because that allows us then to spread those subsidies to more small farmers. To I want to put take some of that money. That would generate, by the way, at least $100 uh, million annually that could then be used to support organic farming, su support product uh, produce farming, support conservation, consor uh, support nutrition programs. It, it, it is a waste of resources that can be used in, in order to encourage the kind of farming uh, that, your, uh, that your family engaged in. And, and also helping some of these small community farms or, or these small farms uh, work together in order to market some of the products that are created and not cut out the middleman so that more of the profits are kept by the actual farmers as opposed to uh, the big processors and the folks who end up uh, marking up a lot of the costs of the products that are being produced uh, on the soil. 